Now that we know that Mixolydian scale or the major scale with a flatted seventh, you can think of it either way. And uh, I, I've been sitting here sort of struggling with what, what I should call it because it's, it's really both things. We can think of it as a Mixolydian scale, or, but really when I'm playing it, I think of it as a major scale with a lowered seventh. And that gives us that dominant feel, B flat seven. So anyway, whenever you, once you know that scale really well, it incorporates really nicely into swing tunes and it really incorporates nicely into this blues tune we've been working on because there are such a nice regular number of measures. There's eight tones in, a, in this scale and there's either two or four bars of every single chord change. It just makes it really kind of easy to play. So if I were playing the B flat chord, which is four bars long, I would simply play the scale ascending. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's two measures. Now we're going to go right back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we move to the E flat chord, the four chord. We're going to play that for eight beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we go back to the B flat chord and check this out. We could go all the way back to that root, but what if we went to the octave, that root, and just play a descending scale? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That works out real well. Then we go to the F chord, that's our five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we have two choices. We could either go to this root or this root. Let's go to this one. One, two, three, four, and then back to the F. One, two, three, four. So let me go ahead and put on the chord changes and I'll play through this blues tune two times through with the, a real straight, Mixolydian scale for each chord change. Here we go. B flat. So, as you can see, there are, uh, it, it's really not difficult to put this Mixolydian scale into your walking bass lines. The things that continue to be important are, number one, always know where the root of the chord is. That's first. Secondly, always, as much as you can, start a measure with the root of the chord. Or another way of thinking of it is, focus on the root of the chord. You always want to be establishing root. Um, then, once you get that in there, you can begin incorporating a little bit of those chromatic transitions as well. So you might play that scale and work around that scale a little bit and then begin incorporating chromatic transitions to the next chord. Um, try it out. Know your scale really well. Know that Mixolydian scale and then try to incorporate it into the chord changes of all the different tunes that you're playing. Good luck.